Yo, you too, man. What's up with y'all, boy, man? Day uh, 61. Um, day 61, chest and shoulders. Yeah, we're going to put work in today, man. Um, Got incline bench, flies, um, shoulder press, and we're going to do lat raises. So, yeah, man, let's get it, man. Starting off with 225 on, uh, on the bar. Like always, let's get it, man. Right, but we got the flies right here. First set of the flies. Let's get it, man. All right, if you wanna, if you wanna know how much weight I'm doing, I'm doing 63 pounds. So, not 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 a lot, not a lot. Let's get it though, man. Alright, but we got 315, man. Let's get it, man. Alright, but we got the second set of the flies, man. Let's get it, man. All right, but we at 365 right here, man. Let's get it. Bro, I don't know what it is, but those flies are feeling good, man. Like, they feel they hurt. Like, they, they it's good pain. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you work out and you have experience, you know what I mean by it feel good. Like, it's good pain, and you're supposed to feel it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I feel it majority, like, in my chest, of course, and my shoulders, I guess, I guess because it's this movement right here, like the flexing motion, I guess the repetitions, they get a little worn out, you feel me? Yeah, it feel, it feel good, like it's supposed to feel that way, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to do one more set of the flies, but I'm going to do it off camera. Like usual, I don't, I don't show y'all every set, show y'all like two sets, um, but... Yeah, we're going to do one more set of the flies, then we're going to move on over to the shoulder press and the lap and the lat races. <laughs> All right, but we at 405, man. Let's get it, man. Bro, it's been a lot of weird stuff, like, happening, like, with the, with the world, like, like the, um... The solar eclipse is coming. Um, the devil's comet is supposed to pass by. And I've been seeing a bunch of people thinking it's the end of times. And, man, every time I see that, man, I wonder why people do that. You know what I'm saying? Because Jesus coming back is supposed to be like a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to be happy for that to happen. But the way people are saying it, I know it's supposed to be like them wanting you to repent and be ready. The way they're, they're coming off, of, the, the way they're coming off is like using it as a fear tactic. And that's not a good way to, you know, to, to draw in people to repent and build a relationship with Jesus and God. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good, that's not a good thing because I know me, I'm not going to get discouraged by anything these people say. Um... We all got got to we all got to meet Jesus and God on our judgment judgment day. That's the only person that I want to hear anything from. You know what I'm saying? So, but 
I, I'm different from people. Some some people who you know don't know whether it's a good idea to become a Christian um, or to believe in God or easily to manipulate by using fear might shy away from that. You know what I'm saying? Or they might use that as you know them not wanting to have a relationship with God. And bro, they they gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? Calling it the end of time shouldn't be shouldn't be like a sentence. Uh, it shouldn't be a sentence. It should be a start of lives. It should be a start of times instead of the end of time. That just sound horrible. You know what I'm saying? The way some people just I know it. I know is they 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 have good intentions behind it, but it's sometimes some the way they say it. Like some of these people that be on Instagram, you know, preaching. I understand that they have their own. They they they're, they're doing their job. They're spreading the gospel, but not the way that they, that they keep doing it. They using it as a fear tactic. You're supposed to be afraid of God to not want to sin because with any with all sins have consequences. That's why you should be afraid of God because karma. Simple as that. Sins have consequences. This is just a whole bunch of mess going on about it being the end of times. Like, come on, bro. Stop saying the end of times. It should be a start of a new life. That makes me so upset, you know what I'm saying, when people say it like that, you know? Because it, it breaks my heart that a bunch of people, it says in the Bible that more people will be thrown in hell than there will be in heaven. And that's, that breaks my that breaks my heart. Nobody deserves that. Eternal hell, eternal burnt damnation. But that shows you how 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 serious this is, bro. Like, you know, I, I really hope and pray that you, all you guys know God, you know. I hope and pray that all y'all good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all bless, you know, you and your people bless, you know God, you know Christ, you know that God God sent his son. Jesus Christ to die for your sins and Jesus rose three days three days and three nights he rose from the dead after dying for your sins if you know that bro and you follow Christ and where you just and you are just a genuine person you don't even you don't even have to be a good person because it, on his cross there was a man who were being who was who was being tortured right beside him and, and Jesus told him, a, a person who believed in Christ, who believed in God, who believed he was the Messiah, Jesus told him that you will be with me in my father's kingdom. A man who committed crimes, it doesn't matter what you've done, it doesn't matter what, you know what I'm saying, all that stuff, nobody's perfect. Repent, bro. That's what he died for. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to spread that message to y'all, bro. Use my platform as I as I intended to, you know, spread spread love, spread positivity. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word of God. You know what I'm saying? I uh, right now I'm still learning more things. I haven't read, read, written the Bible, uh, the whole entire Bible yet. Um, I'm in I'm on Exodus right now. I'm I'm just not started. Um, but I'm doing that because I want to memorize and know all of the stories. So I read Genesis. I'm reading. I read Genesis twice. I know about Joseph's story. I know about Noah's um, story. Lot's Lot Lot and Abraham's story. And it's a crazy. They did some crazy things. Um, do this four or five real quick, man. I bet we got the first set of shoulder press, man. Let's get it, man. All right, bet second set of the four or five, man. Let's get it, bro. Let me just talk about this. Like, I don't know if y'all know the whole thing about how Jesus died, bro, but to me, it's powerful, bro. Like, that's the most powerfulest thing. 
I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Let me tell you what he did, bro. This this guy was perfect his entire life. Never sinned a day in his life. Lived for his father every single day. Did nothing but try to save his children. He then was persecuted, tortured, spat on, called names, all everything that you could possibly think of for nothing, for no reason. And during all of this, he was apologizing to his father on the person, the people who were persecuting him behalf, on their behalf, because he loved them so much that he wanted to take all of that pain, bro. To me, bro, that's powerful. I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able, because if I were going through that, I would want to wreak havoc on all of their lives. Every single person who persecuted me, every single person who put them, put him in through hell, literally. Every single person that, if, if I was in his position, that's why he's more powerful than me, because he didn't let his, he didn't let his physical pain control his emotion. I would have let it control me. I would have been so mad. I would have wanted revenge. Powerful, bro. I'm telling you. I couldn't be able to do that, bro. Like, I would want revenge for real. But let's do the second set of four or five real quick, man. All right, bet. Second set of the shoulder press. Let's get it, man. Bro, when you look at women's sports and then look at men's sports, it's such a difference in 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 the amount of power, bro. It's no offense, bro, but it's 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 a total difference in the amount of power that men have, the amount of like sure strength that we have. You know what I'm saying? To do to be able to do what we do, bro. Like I was looking at a high school kid dominating in high school, bro, and it looked. It looked better than WNBA, to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and that's my opinion, you know what I'm saying? But but they they don't get don't get it twisted now. They got some women out there, bro, that can hoop, that can ball, bro, for real. In every sport, bro. They 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 got some women out there that can ball, fam. But I'm looking at UFC, the UFC, the men's UFC. Last time I was watching the women fight, and bro, it's just so so different on how they fight and how they like how they how they stick and move, how fast they are. You know what I'm saying? It's no like I said, no offense, but man, it's such a it's such a big difference. But yeah, man, let's do this second set. This is the last set, by the way. Hey. But we finna do the 50s for lat raises, man. Let's get it. Yo, you too, man. End of the video right there, man. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching, bro. Good little workout. Good little church and shoulder, shoulder workout. Man, I can't talk sometimes. But anyway, like I said, bro, um, I hope y'all hope y'all blessed, bro. I hope y'all know know who God is, man. Uh just have a good have a good relationship with him. Um I hope y'all have a great relationship with your people. Um not only them, but uh like I said, Christ, man, um, it, it, it brings you a long way, and, and it really is healthy, bro. The amount of love that God has for all of us, man, is overwhelming. Um, I hope y'all have a chance to to get that love and feel that love, man. Um, and yeah, man, like I said, bro, I hope y'all good, bro. Hope y'all blessed.
And yeah, man, take care. See y'all in the next vid, bro.